Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today I will give you some simple small tips that improve your career mode massively. If you go on and enjoy the video be sure to give it a like and subscribe to my channel to not miss any other career mode tips. Now let's get into the video. Only since this FIFA EA have changed it so each youth academy player's shirt and boots are randomized. Before every youth academy player had his shirt tucked in and the standard black and white shoes. Although you always had the option to change this manually for each of your youth academy players. So if you still don't like the boots they randomly got, you can manually change this by going to the added player section, which is unlocked for everyone since this FIFA. You can also add and change other small things to your youth academy players, so you can make these players as diverse and original as you want. One way to pick up bargains in career mode is through buying players with a release clause. As a player might have increased a lot in rating but he hasn't gotten a new contract since the start of the new save. So the player still has a low release clause. This makes up for some bargains to pick up throughout the first few seasons of each career mode. Now you might wonder how you can find these players. As release classes get added to random players in each save, the best way to search for it is to go to search players and make sure the players you are looking for have a release clause. To search more specific, you can select the minimum and maximum age the players need to be and you can select the nationality or the league the players need to play in, in order to find the right players you need. When you are scouting youth academy players, quite often there is a player where their stats don't really fit with their position. In FIFA 21 career mode, there is a new feature where you can change a player's position. So what if you can find out what youth academy player's best position is? If you want to find this out, go to sofifa.com and go to calculator. In there you can fill in all of the player's stats. If you completed doing this, then on the left you can see what rating the player would have in each position if you trained them. Be aware though that a player cannot decrease in rating when you train him to a position which doesn't really suit him. So in my examples you can see on the screen, I had several youth academy players in my Athletic Bilbao save who jumped up massively in rating by changing their position. This jump in rating also gives these players a bigger chance of getting promoted to the first team as I am unlikely to sign players who have a very low rating. Before starting your career mode, you can actually manually change the stadium names of every club's stadium. This is of course only for clubs who have a generic stadium and not a licensed one. Changing the stadium makes your career mode a bit more realistic when playing in a generic stadium of a lower division team, as you are actually playing in a stadium which is the stadium's actual name in real life. Make sure you download the latest squad update beforehand though, because if you do it right before starting the career mode, you will have to start all over again. Just like in real life, players' contracts can run out, which means a player can just leave the club when their contract runs out. The player has no club from that point onwards and can sign for any club in the world, if they offer him a contract of course. This also happens in career mode, meaning that at the start of a new season, there are several new free agents you can pick up very easily. EA have implemented a new thing in FIFA 21 though, which stops high rated players of becoming free agents. But that now means there are a lot of lower rated talents in the free agent section, and a lot of them have very good potential. Some examples I found are Karamoko Dembele and Xavi Simons. So when you are casually playing your career mode, make sure to check the free agent section at the start of a new season. If you wait too long, these gems might have found a new team already, so I would recommend to check the free agents on the first or second day of a new season. Make sure you select a similar minimum and maximum age, as after a few seasons a lot of younger, lower rated players will become free agents and you don't want to miss out on any bargains. So firstly check players who are aged 16, then 17, then 18, etc. If you want to search even more specific, you can also select a player's nationality, where I would recommend to go through free agents who have a nationality that's in this top 9 nationalities list. These were some simple tips that can improve your career mode a lot. Let me know in the comments what simple tips you use in career mode. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to my channel to not miss any other career mode tips, and I will see you at the next video.